Today on the bench, I'm gonna tie you up the Black Death Tarpon Bunny. Now, if you want a really good effective pattern to use on the flats, and especially fishing in the mangroves or just off the edge of the mangroves, this is the fly for you. Make sure you have these materials ready before you tie the fly. For the hook, we'll use a Mustad C70 SD 2 aught Some 3 aught black thread to tie with, along with some hot pink mono to finish off the head. Some hologram stick-on gold eyes for the eyes. Some black rabbit strip for the tail. Some black tipped red rabbit strips for the body. And hard as nails lacquer to finish off the head. I started the fly off by tying in my thread and I've also taken some 20 pound test and tied in a 20 pound test tail guard on the back. Again it's optional, some people don't like it but I prefer it. It stops my rabbit from getting hooked up. So to start the fly off I'm going to take some black rabbit and extend a small tail out the back and again make it about as long as a hook. So the hook is you know an inch and a half long and I'm going to tie in some black rabbit right at the tail and to form the tail. Now that the black tail is tied in and my thread is net the rear of the hook, I'm going to take my red rabbit and tie it in right at the rear of the hook. And make sure you tie it in good because we're going to be wrapping this forward a few wraps to form the body. Now only bring your thread up about halfway up the hook. That's where we're actually going to tie off, about halfway up the hook. Then take your rabbit and as you wrap it forward, keep pulling the rabbit back. You want to form a really pulled back tapered body on this fly and it usually takes about three or four rabbit pulls around the hook to form the, the body of the fly and then tie off about halfway up the hook. Now if you've done things correctly you should be about halfway up the hook with the black thread still on. What we're going to do is whip finish off that black thread and then we're going to actually take our hot pink mono which is a lot thicker thicker thread and tie it in and once we tie it in we'll form a real nice head on this fly and we'll make the, the head of the fly quite large. Now that I've tied in the head with the hot pink mono and built it up quite quite a bit so you've got quite a big pink head on that fly I'm going to take two of my hologram prism prismatic eyes and we're going to stick them on either side so stick one on one side Take another, stick it on the other side, and once you have your eyes on and in place, we're going to take our hard as nails finish and pour this over the fly. Essentially put this right over that, that uh, material we tied in, the mono, and cover up the eyes. And this is going to seal those eyes right onto the fly. To finish the fly off, continually lacquering that head for probably two or three more times. I like to put a good, good coat of lacquer on there. It's nice to rotate the fly as you put the lacquer on to keep it from, you know, balling up. But do probably do about two or three sets, allow the fly to set overnight, and then put another set of lacquer on. And then also trim the tail to length till it's about hook and a half length out the back. So there it is, the finished black death tarpon bunny. Now there's many different patterns you can tie in this tarpon bunny style. Uh, the two most effective that we found is the black and the red and the black and the chartreuse. Two very effective patterns in Cuba. To watch all our latest sport fishing on the fly episodes and to order sport fishing on the fly merchandise head to www.sfotf.ca and if you'd like to book an adventure like this one shown Head to onthefflyadventures.ca and book yourself the trip of a lifetime.